A naming register in music refers to the specific range or pitch area that a particular instrument or voice is capable of producing. For example, a soprano singer would have a higher naming register than a bass singer. Similarly, a piccolo has a higher naming register than a tuba. This can also apply to non-pitched percussion instruments, such as drums and cymbals, which can be described as having a high or low register. The register of an instrument or voice can also play a role in determining the style of music that is most appropriate for it. Welcome to our lesson on naming registers in music. In this lesson, we will be exploring the different sections of an instrument or voice's range, known as registers. Each register has its own unique name and characteristics, and understanding them is essential for any musician looking to make the most of their instrument or voice. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify and name the different registers in music and understand how they can be used to create a more dynamic and expressive performance. Let's begin. In music, the range of notes that a piano can produce is also divided into different registers, each with its own name and characteristics. The first register on the piano is called the bass register. It is the lowest range of notes that can be produced by the piano and includes the notes C1 to B1. This register is often used for bass notes and creates a deep, rich sound. The next register on the piano is called the tenor register. This is the range of notes that are in the middle of the piano's range and includes the notes C2 to B2. The tenor register is often used for melody and harmony and creates a balanced and rich sound. The third register on the piano is called the alto register. It is the range of notes that are above the tenor register and includes notes C3 to B3. This register is often used for chords and creates a warm and full sound. The fourth register on the piano is called the soprano register. It is the highest range of notes that can be produced by the piano and includes the notes C4 to C8. This register is often used for high notes and creates a bright and clear sound. When you name pitches, it helps to specify their precise octave placement. There are several systems for doing this, we will use the numeric system shown on the keyboard in figure. The lowest C on the piano is C1 and the highest is C8, middle C is C4. The number for a particular octave includes all the pitches from C up to the following B, so the B above C4 is B4, and the B below C4 is B3. The three notes below the C1 on the piano are A0, B flat 0, and B0. It's important to note that, in practice, the exact range of notes for each register may vary depending on the piano and the skill of the pianist. Understanding the different registers on the piano can help pianists to make better use of the instrument and create a more dynamic and expressive performance by playing in different registers. It will also help them to understand the different sonorities that the piano can produce. Thank you for watching our video lesson. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.